We'll go over the LPN schedules, and then we can discuss the nurses' ball. Mm. So if you would just pass out these agendas, I will be right there. I'll get right to it. <laughs> Hi, girls. Well, 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 hello, stranger. I've been wondering if we still live in the same house. Well, I know. The last week of school has been ridiculous. Oh, and thank you for those muffins that you left out this morning. I ate them both. Oh, that's good. When was the last time I saw you? Um, dinner, night before last? Wasn't that you dashing through the dining room? Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. I have exactly 45 seconds until the staff meeting, so what can I do for you? Uh, well, here is uh, the schedule for my finals. Okay. Could you ask Gail if she can set up my appointments around it? Mm -hmm. Consider it done. Thank you. Oh, darling, you have been doing such a good job with everything. I am so proud of you. How about I make dinner tonight and we can catch up? Well, maybe it might be just as easy to pick something up at Kelly's. You're very tactful, Graham. Mm, aren't I just? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you tonight. I'll be looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Now hurry up. You've got 11 seconds. Oh, oh cool. all right. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Nicholas. Oh, hi. I'm not, I'm not waiting for you, really. I'm not. What's the matter? Laura, she... She crashed. Have you been here all night? I, I tried to go home and sleep, but Laura has no idea what's going on. You know, I want to stay with her. But my grandmother and, and is in the room with my father, and then they just they keep glaring back and forth at each other. I, I don't I don't know where I'm supposed to be. Well, tell me what happened. The last time I saw Laura, she seemed fine. Well, Lena was here. You mean here at the hospital? Yeah, apparently she said some pretty terrible things to Laura, like Dr. Laura Bell hasn't been hurt enough, you know. Dr. Bell <sighs> she must have been planning something like this. Why would Helena deliberately hurt Laura? Elizabeth, Helena thrives on hate, okay? She, she finds the weakest point in you, the most vulnerable place, and that's where she strikes. Do you know what she said? No, not exactly, but now Laura thinks that uh, Lucky died because of her. That isn't true. Well, truth has nothing to do with it. But Laura was so helpful when, when I was blaming myself about the candles. She knows she has nothing to do with the fire. But Laura thinks that it's her fault Lucky wasn't living at home. There's no way Lucky was living back in that house again. And not just because of Laura. I, I know, but she just, she, Laura can't understand that right now. Is she in the psych ward? Yeah, she's down the hall. Dr. Bowen's taking care of her right now. Oh, good. Gail's the best. Yeah. Do you want me to tell Luke what's going on? Would that help? I, I told him. You're so amazing. I can't believe I haven't seen him here. But you're here. And that helps. Does she recognize you? I think so. But I'm not who she needs to see right now. I'm not lucky. I can't take Lucky's place. I know that. But I should know what to do. Why? Nobody else does. It would be because Laura's my mother. Yeah, but Nicholas, it doesn't always work like that. I'm the only son she has left, Elizabeth. Only one. I should know what to say. I should know how to deal with my father. I should know how to how to help. You know, and if, I, if I'd have been paying attention, if I'd have been paying attention, maybe I could have kept Helena away from you. Don't now, do I, this. I, I, I know what Laura needs, I know, but I, it's the one thing I can't give her. Laura loves you. She doesn't want you to replace Lucky. Nobody does. I shouldn't be dumping all this on you anyway. Like I haven't dumped a lot on you lately. She lost more than I did. Don't say that. Don't, don't ever say that. Yes, I lost the person I planned to love forever. But you lost your brother just when you were getting to know him. I feel like I lost my future, but so did you. Maybe Laura's just lost too much. She still has you. But I can't give her anything. You know? 
I can't give her a look. I can't give her all the years that my family stole from her. And I can't give her back her son either. I can't. Do you want to hear my lecture on the true meaning of friendship? Oh, anything but that. <laughs> You're out of the prince business, remember? You get to be a normal kid from a very weird family who's trying to deal. That sounds like something Lucky would say. Thank you. He would want us to help each other. But why couldn't I see it coming, huh? What, are you supposed to be able to see into the future now? <laughs> I just... I, I wish I could make Laura see that you know, that Lucky's death wasn't her fault. You just... can't, as much as you want to. Believe me, I know. In the end, only Laura can stop blaming herself. So what am I supposed to do, just stand around her? It helps. You didn't have to say that. Nicholas, after the rape, there were a lot of people that wanted to do something, you know, find a way to help me. If they could just say the right thing, then maybe I wouldn't be afraid to walk home by myself anymore. Or I'd start to unfreeze inside. You know, if they could explain it clearly enough, then I'd stop blaming myself. But they couldn't. Because the rape was my experience. I had to find a way out of it. It's kind of like the candles. Yes, you helped me, but I made the decision. I let go of the idea that I caused that fire. No one else could do it for me. And no one can do it for Laura either. So what am I supposed to do then? What you're doing. Let Laura know you're around. Be there for her when she needs you and then get out of her way when she doesn't. Why am I telling you all this? You're already great at it. I'm not the only one. Hey, how is she? Better. She's sleeping soundly for the first time since it happened. Good. Oh, uh, Dr. Baldwin just got out of a staff meeting and wants to see you. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll be right there. Um, when Laura wakes up, would you please tell her that I love her? Oh, I definitely will. Okay. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. Hello. How are you? Oh, better. I have a lot of good friends around me. Lulu would love to see you. You know what? I'm in, right in the middle of finals, but as soon as I'm free, do you think I can bring some paints over? Oh, I think that would be wonderful. I'm going to go get some tea. I'll be right back. Okay. Thank you. You're gonna like Gail. She's honest. Okay. I'll let you know what happens, all right? Okay. Soon, very soon, I'll rest in your arms and our love will sustain us beyond this terrible war. Our love will endure forever or not. <sighs> Elizabeth. Hi. Hi. Am I bothering you? You could never bother me. Please come in. Uh, maybe this isn't any of my business. You can say anything to me. I just thought you'd like to know Laura's feeling better. Did you speak to my wife? No. Leslie says she's doing better. She told Nicholas and I was there. Laura's sleeping now. She has a lot of people to help her. I mean, if, if that just helps you to know. Yeah, it does. Thanks. What about you? Is anyone helping you? You just did. Like you said at Lucky's memorial, 
Anything you need from me is yours for the asking.